Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video is sponsored by Videoblocks.com. If you are looking for royalty free videos, After Effects templates, or motion backgrounds, then Videoblocks is the perfect match for you. This tutorial is also inspired by one of their After Effects template. Download anything you want. Everything you download from Videoblocks are royalty free. That means, you won't get any copyright strikes on your projects. So, visit the link in the description, and start downloading today. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Slide 001. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, but this time, I am using the frame rate of 60, to make the animation smoother. You are free to choose your own settings. Now, first step is to import your image into the project. And then place it onto the timeline. You can adjust the size of your image by using the scale. And then right click on it, and select pre-compose. Let's call it image 001, and make sure to click on move all attributes into the new composition. Perfect. Now we are going to mask out our image but we need to make the image slices equal to each other. So let's do some math. First of all press Ctrl plus R, to open ruler. It will give us this ruler. By using it, we can divide our image, into the equal parts. Simply go to the ruler, and drag out the line into the center. Grab another line and place it between here. Take another line, and place it on this location. Now you can see we have equal space between these lines. With the help of these lines, now we can apply masks to our image. Make sure your image layer is selected, then go to the tool and select rectangle tool. Now start creating a mask for this first portion. Cool. Now select your image, and press Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate of it. Switch to the move tool, by pressing V on your keyboard. Then double click on this mask, to turn on the transform tool. Now grab this mask, and place it on the second portion. Make sure you are moving mask only, not the image. Perfect, now make another duplicate of this layer. Double click on the mask and then place it here. Now make the last copy of it. Take the mask and place it here. Now we have our complete image in different mask sizes. Let's hide these ruler lines. Press Ctrl plus semicolon, to hide the ruler lines. Make sure your all images have been aligned perfectly, so there won't be any space left between them. In case, if there are any space left between them, you have to change the position of the mask, to fill the space left between. It's time to animate it. Go to the 1 second position. Select all images, and press P to open position. Now add a keyframe on it. Go to the first frame, and change the first position value to negative 970. So that the images disappear from the frame. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Open Graph Editor, select the end keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. Cool. Let's turn on the motion blur for all layers. If you don't see your switches tab here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key has changed his mind, about working full time, then right click here, go to the columns, 
and select switches. Now click here to turn on the motion blur for all layers, and then click on this icon to activate it. Switch back to the timeline, and now our slideshow looks like this. For making the movement more dynamic, simply place the layers at random position. But make sure you are adding a few frames gap only. Else, the animation won't look that attractive. Cool, check the animation, and see if you are happy with it. Let's trim out the playback area of this slide by pressing N. And then RAM preview it. Cool, this looks good to me. It's time to make more slides. This step is important, because I am showing a very cool trick. Create a new composition, and call it slideshow. I am using the same frame size, and frame speed. But this time I am using the duration of one minute. Now place this slide 001 onto the timeline, and now we are going to make more animations using the same techniques. If you are going to make a different animation on the same layer, you cannot do it by simply making a duplicate of this layer, because their source will be the same. If you ever change anything from this composition, it will reflect in all compositions. So we have to make independent copies of this comp. This could be done by using a third-party script called, True Comp Duplicator. This is a free script, just change the amount by zero dollars, and then add to the cart. If you want, you can pay the author, for supporting him. You can download this script from this website, or you can download it from the direct link in the description. After downloading the script, simply copy it, and then go to the root directory of your After Effects software. In this case, I am using After Effects CC 2014, so I have to paste it in the same folder. Open Support Files, and here you will find this scripts folder. Open it, and then paste the script into this folder. If you found this step confusing, then open After Effects, select the comp you want to make the duplicate of. Then go to the file, script, and click on this run script file. Choose the script file from the destination you have, and then click open. Now you have this script panel. I have selected the increment option, so that it will create a file from the different name. Type the number of the copies you want to make. And then click on duplicate selected. Now we have total 4 copies of our slides. Start placing these comps onto the timeline, and align them one after one. Cool. Let's open this composition, and then you can change the image of it. Import the second image into the project. And then place it onto the timeline. See, we have second slide here. Cool. Let's add the third comp as well. Now, for this third layer, I am going to change the animation of my slide. For doing this, simply open this composition. And here I want the image, to be slide in, from top to the bottom. So let's do this. First of all, select all these position keyframes, and delete them. Now align these layer at the same starting position. So they will start appearing at the same time. Now I am going to add vertical ruler lines to my project. Place the first line into the center, and then add more lines to the equal space. Please note, these ruler lines won't appear in the final render, so you don't have to worry about them. These are just for guiding. Now select the mask, and double click on it. 
Rotate the mask, while pressing and holding the shift key on your keyboard, to rotate it on perfect angle. Place the mask on the location, where it covers a single portion. Do the same with all other layers, rotate their mask vertically. Perfect. Make sure you are in the 1 second position, press P to open position, and then add a keyframe on it. Go to the first frame, and change the second position value to something negative 540 pixels. Select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Open graph editor, select the end keyframes, and then change the curve to something like this. In case your graph doesn't look like this, right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Switch back to the timeline. If your mask is not visible, make sure to turn on the visibility of the mask by clicking here. Arrange these layers as well, to get some dynamic movement. Perfect. This looks good to me. Let's change the image of it. Open this composition and then add your image into the timeline. Switch back to the main composition, and now we have this nice looking slide animation. I don't like my slide to start playing after the black screen, so I am adding another image to it. You are free to add as many images you want. Simply, Place your image on below of all layers, and then adjust the length of it. Simply trim out the duration by holding the edge of it. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.